Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss the example for the binomial expansion where n is a positive integer. So find the terms that contain x to the power of 9 in the expansion of 3x cubed minus 2y squared power of 4. So in here, first we have to know how many terms do we have in the expansion. So the terms will be equals to 5 terms because of the formula n plus 1. Then the second step, we are going to list out the formula for finding the terms. n, c, r, a, n minus r, b to the power of r. So now question asks us to find the x to the power of 9, finding the terms. So we don't know which term is that. So a will be equals to 3 x cubed b will be equals to negative 2y squared and then n will be equals to 4 so now we are going to substitute into the formula so t r plus 1 is equals to n will be equals to 4 c r a will be 3 to the power 3 x cubed to the power of 4 minus r and then negative 2y squared to the power of r. So now we need to expand by using the properties of indices. So for cr, 3 to the power of 4 minus r. x to the power of 12 minus 3r. After we using the properties of indices. Followed by negative 2 to the power of r and then y to the power of 2 r okay so we can still further simplify or we can straightforward by determining the value for r by comparing okay by comparing the indices x to the power of 12 minus 3 r actually we have to equate with the x to the power of 9. So compare. So after we compare, 12 minus 3r is equals to 9. Okay, so r will be equals to 1. So now we already know the value of r. So by substituting the value, so t2 okay, will be equals to 4c1. And then 3 to the power of 3 because 4 minus 1. And then x to the power of 9. And then negative 2 to the power of 1. And then y squared. Okay, so for c1, we will have our answer 4. 3 to the power of 3, we will have 27. Negative 2. x to the power of 9 y squared so finally after we multiply all the coefficient we will have negative 2 1 6 x to the power of 9 and y squared so we have the second terms so find the terms that contain x to the power of 9 the answer is the second term so here we are and thanks for watching